Hello and welcome to another video by ES Repair. I am your host, Mr. Fixit. In this video, I'm going to show you how to disable or turn off the sign in password for Windows 8. Um, a lot of people don't want to use passwords on Windows 8 because, you know, they a lot of them have difficulties remembering the password or they have um, a lot of difficulty signing in to, to their computer. I'm going to show you how to disable or turn off the password for signing into Windows 8. To do so, you want to move down here to your lower uh, left corner and you're going to notice your start screen or your start button. Uh, in Windows 8, you have to move all the way to the bottom left hand corner to get it to bring up. Once it comes up, right click it and then choose run. Now you're going to see the run dialog box pop up. Type in N E T P L W I Z and this is what's going to pop up. Once you type it in the box, choose OK. Now it's going to bring up user accounts. Now you don't have this directly in user account control. This is a separate program that is hidden. Um, what you do is you'll notice a list of your uh, users. Your list probably won't be this long. Um, this is because I'm using this computer for different things. Um, as you can see here, up here at the top, it says that you can use a list below to grant or deny users access to your computer and to change passwords and other things. Well, here, you'll see this little thing right here. It says users must enter a username and password to use this computer. As you can see, there's a chat mark in it. If you remove that chat mark, you'll notice that you're unable to access this information. This means that the password is turned off. All you have to do now is click apply. Now it's going to show automatically sign in. This means that you can set up your computer so that others do not have to type a password name or, or username or password to sign in. Now, in order for it to turn off, you have to know your administrative password. You enter the password, and then you confirm the password. Once you enter the password, and you confirmed it, click OK. Now, once it's finished, all you have to do is click OK. And then the next time that you start up your computer, you won't have to log in. So let me go ahead and let me restart the computer. Let me bring my charge bar up. And then choose restart. As you can see here, I didn't have to enter my password. It'll automatically log you in and you never have to worry about the password. Now keep in mind the password still exists for your account. Uh, if you try to, you know, if you want to make changes to your computer uh, like user account control or if you need to access certain features like your Windows Store uh, you will still have to have that password for the Microsoft account. The only difference is you don't have to use it to sign into your computer anymore. But you may need to sign, uh, enter the password for different features for Windows uh, that requires Windows account. And there's all you have to do. Well, this has been a presentation by ES Repair. I am your host, Mr. Fixit. Thank you for watching.